Welcome to your GeoWiki Drivers of Tropical Forest Loss Campaign. In this video, you will familiarize yourself with the user interface and all the tools at your disposal. On the left side of the campaign, you will find lots of tools that you can employ for the validations. The top one is the transparency slider for the overlay, the reported trace loss. You can increase or decrease the transparency of this overlay. Then there's the rapid zoom out, which you can use to see in which area of the world you are located. And then there's a switch between three different tools. The pointer is the normally the one that is normally selected, but you can also select the NDVI or the Sentinel time series tools. We recommend that the Sentinel time series tools is used often for, especially for the latest changes in the land cover or land, land use. There is auxiliary information that includes country, continent, and base imagery data. If you look at this, you will soon find patterns that can help you classify faster. Additional campaign tools include exporting the location to visualize it in Google Earth, where you can see terrain, auxiliary information such as street view or pictures that allow you to get an idea of what happened in the past and what is the driver of the forest loss. Also, you can quick start this quick guide by clicking on the button there. You can also see examples in videos and in a preset uh, images that we have classified for you. You can also contact us by sending an email if you click then ask expert for help or you can join us in the chat. We have organized a chat group for this campaign where you can contact other participants and contact moderators and ask staff to discuss points and validations. There is also the campaign statistics and the leaderboard that are available on the left. To start validating you can then press the start validation button. Once you press the start validation, you will see several things happening. A blue box will appear on top of a random location. And also the reported tree loss pixels are active and now are shown in red. You can increase or decrease the transparency as you see best. You will also see the base maps on the right that you can change to compare different years and different times. And then you will see the task that we are asking of you. And these are four steps. Step 1 is to select the predominant tree loss driver visible inside the tree loss pixels in the blue box, only in the red pixels. The step 2 is to select all other tree loss drivers visible inside these tree loss pixels in the blue box, that is, again on the red pixels. For example, you might have chosen subsistence agriculture and roads. The step 3 also asks you to Record if you can see roads, trails, or buildings in the blue box, independently whether they are inside or outside the red pixels. Once you are ready, you can add a comment and then submit your validation. Now, to get used to the user interface, you will be given 10 locations. This will be training locations. Before you start though, look at the campaign rules, look at the regulations, and especially the gallery of examples that includes these video tutorials. In this way, you'll be ahead of the game in no time. Remember that step 1 and 2 refer to changes inside the reported tree loss areas, the red pixels in the blue box. Good quality submissions give many more points, bad ones may take away some. Good luck and enjoy supporting sites.